next squad. So I cooked some pork chop, some bomb pork chop, guys. You love pork, you need to definitely watch this and subscribe to my channel while you're at it. And you need to try this recipe. It was delicious. If you love spicy food and you love pork and you love pork chops, oh my gosh, this is definitely for you. So what I'm going to be doing is to go ahead and cut my pork chops to size. They're a little bit big. Um, not necessarily what I wanted, but that's how I got them. So I'm going to work with them. And today we're going to be doing some jerk. It's a rosemary jerk pork chop and it's done on the stove. So if you don't have an oven, you don't have to worry about it. I'm going to show you how to do it on your stove top, guys. Stove top. So we're going to go ahead and have our pork washed um, with the vinegar and lime juice. Right? And... Then we're going to go ahead and have it seasoned. Well, guys, this is my Mother's Day dinner. Um, I'm not close to where my mom is, so unfortunately, I wasn't able to do dinner for her. But, yeah, I did dinner for the family here. And we're going to go ahead now and season our pork chops, guys. Just getting them ready 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 hey all right so this is some pork seasoning guys and i have this is a special pork season if you want it guys and you need to get this season in your life if you're in jamaica and you want it you can order it from me if you're overseas and you want it you can order it from me as well it's a excellent blend of herbs and spices all of the, 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 the right amount of ginger. It, this pork season is just a bomb, guys. All right, so we're going to put some um some all-purpose seasoning also on this pork. Going to put some herb and spice mix as well. I'm going to just press that into the pork, guys. I've already scored my pork. So I kind of just use the knife and kind of juke it up stab it up pierce it <laughs> yeah so i'm just pressing in that seasoning into into it and guys when i season this i'm gonna allow it to marinate overnight i want a full 24 hours on this guys if you don't have it you do you, you can go ahead just give it 30 minutes but the longer guys you marinate this is the better it gets trust me so we're going to season both sides, guys. So we're using, again, our pork seasoning, our all-purpose, and our mix of spice and herb. And if you want to mix spice and herbs, too, guys, I can get you that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and add some salt. The salt is very important, guys, especially if you're not going to be marinating overnight. Ensure that you add salt to this nice fresh pork. Mm. Guys, we're going to season this really, really good. And that rosemary is going to give it an extra kick. That's the secret kick. So I've added some jerk seasoning. And uh, some rosemary, some fresh rosemary, guys. And I'm going to rub that in. Alright, so let's finish seasoning up this pork. And guys, we're seasoning the pork well. You realize that we just a see... Mm -mm. Anyways, yeah. And that is some... um. Oh, that's seasoned to the bone, guys. I added season to the bone. I didn't even remember. But look at that. Oh gosh. I tell you, this pork was bomb. Right, TJ? Oh boy, I can't really do. You're shaking your <laughs> Okay, so on high heat, we have some oil getting hot with some garlic. 
and some ginger just infusing in that oil and that's for our pork chops guys they have marinated overnight and i'm ready to cook my mother's day dinner now so mm, let's do this Right, so we're just gonna fry those not gonna burn them but we're gonna fry them we want all of that flavor of the ginger and of the garlic mm, you should smell in here i want that to infuse in that oil so that when i go ahead and put my pork chops in the, that flavor just right through my pork chops mm -mm -mm. That's going to be good. All right. So we just move those to the side. I'm going to go ahead now, guys. I'm going to add our pork chops. And guys, our oil is hot. Extremely hot. So we want to be able to get a sear on these pork chops. And we're not going to go ahead and overcrowd the um, pot. I want enough space between these chops so that they can just brown and you know they get that nice sear on them that yeah i think that that that's how you get the most flavor out of your meat that sear it's so important all right so we're gonna go ahead and just flip it look at that why look at that wow guys i wish you guys were gonna get some of this but make your own guys and let me know how it came out in the comment section below guys but mm, love spicy food love pork as i said before guys this is for you all right guys so let's take a look at this all right so one side is basically done we're gonna go ahead and ensure that we get a nice sear on the other side and we're doing this uncovered guys because we don't want any steam to generate in this we're basically jerking this pork on the stove top in a frying pan See, when you're a chef, you're supposed to can chef up things. So we're chef up some pork chops. Pan the stove top, jerk pork chops. With rosemary, guys. The rosemary just gave it this kick. Why? Pork here was the bomb. Yeah. And I'm going to be doing some gungo rice and peas, some dried gungo rice and peas with this, guys. Didn't feel much tutorial for that, guys, but I will soon. Um, For the rice and peas, for the round red rice and peas, for the regular kidney bean rice and peas, for the black peas rice and peas, and for the gungo rice and peas, both dry and green. All right, so I'm going to give you guys my secret to my rice and peas always coming out. The bomb. But for now, just enjoy this nice pork chops. Bomb, bomb pork chops. And guys, you can actually do this pork chops with like festival. It should be also wonderful with festival. Jamaican festival or some roast red fruit oh my some avocado some pear mm -hmm. all right so we're gonna go ahead add the other set all right so guys this is uh, 
this is kind of what everything is looking like I'm gonna go ahead now um add it back everything to the skillet and i'm adding some onions some scallions some scotch bonnet pepper some sweet pepper some red um some green and some yellow bell pepper piece of rosemary and some stock some chicken some pork stock i'm sorry pork stock to that and i'm gonna go ahead and have that just simmer down in that and guys you see i haven't added um a lot of water because i want this to be more of on the not so much gravy sauce this type i just want it to steam and the steam that's it's gonna generate is actually gonna go ahead and moisten our pork chops make it nice and succulent and soft you know so that's what the we've added that um stock for we're not trying to make a stew we're not stewing this down at all so now what we're gonna do now that we've had that reduced and i've gotten the flavor um underlying flavor that i'm looking for i'm gonna go ahead now and i'm gonna add some um ketchup and this is aunt vice ketchup i'm gonna use some of that because it has a sweeter um taste than um my regular grace ketchup and i'm gonna be using some sugar with that all right so now i'm gonna go ahead guys just gonna go ahead and allow this to actually simmer down on low heat it's gonna be on low heat guys because we're gonna kind of slow cook it um for 20 minutes and this is what it looks like guys a final product mm -hmm. and those little chars and and, and sears guys is just a seasoning this was absolutely delicious um Mm. guys try this jerk stovetop rosemary jerked stovetop pork chops and guys here we go this is what my mother's day dinner totally looks like that's some pasta with um bell peppers and cheese some roast fish and i'm gonna do a roast fish recipe for you guys as well and this is my gungo rice and peas guys you see what i tell you about perfect rice and peas all the time yeah and voila the finished dish and this guys is um some eggs it's just boiled eggs stuffed with some potato salad just for it to look a little bit fancy and pretty and topped with some parsley and cheese my red plantains guys and that's it thank you for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share nick squad until next time from chef nicks